Today we're going to learn a bit more about Turing machines. Uh, we're going to focus explicitly in terms of their expressiveness. So we'll start with a few exercises and then we're going to talk a bit about uh, Turing machines configurations and their configuration history, uh, which is something that I included in the last class's uh, slides. And then we're going to revisit um, acceptance. And then we're going to talk about uh, variations or extensions of Turing machines and trying to understand whether they're more expressive or less expressive. Kind of like what we did with NFAs and DFAs, where we, we had extent, you can think of a DFA or, or an FA as variations of the same idea, which end up being equivalent. Um, but if you try to do the same thing with PDAs, for instance, that's something we did not learn, but I, I can cover that now. Uh, a deterministic PDA is actually not as expressive as a non-deterministic one. Um, yeah, and so we're going to see how that, uh, how, what is the difference in Turing machines, if there is some, and how, how do we imagine different variations of Turing machines. That's basically it.